This is Here I Am, Batson and the Bat Sons, by Small Spidey Boy. Chapter 8 Billy Batson Says Fuck, Part 2 Local Crime Lord is Proud When Billy wakes up, everything hurts. It's actually the first thing he notices, as reality comes in with throbbing starbursts of light. The next thing he notices is the people he met throughout the past month. Then he sees Batman. Fuck, he swears, louder than intended. Silence rings throughout the room for a moment, then, no, shatters the silence, and then laughter. Within the next ten seconds, he decides going back to sleep sounds great, or literally anything else but being here. So he does the next best thing, an astral projects, which gives the impression of him flopping bonelessly backward, his head hitting the pillow with a soft thump. Jason will admit he thought it was fucking funny. The moment the kid had woken up, he stared Batman directly in the eyes, yelled fuck, and then passed out, as Dick and Bruce both shrieked no. The brief moment of humor paled after he saw both Tim and Dick Ivy Kid with knowing. So, he drawls, who here has met the newest baby bat before his trip to the bat cave? Both Dick and Tim hand to go up, each staring guiltily at the floor. Bruce shuffles awkwardly, Cal hiding his eyes but Jason can read his body language and sees the gentle hints of anxiety and hope. And Jason crushes it beneath his heel when he opens his mouth. B, no, you cannot go around adopting every orphan you see, especially when you have Damien, who does not understand the concept of civilians. He'll be trying to send this kid straight into the ground in order to protect his true son and blood heir status. When Bruce goes to argue, Jason stops with him with a raised hand. I will get Alfred involved, and Alfred will agree with me when I say that I want to obtain legal guardianship of Billy. Then Dick starts squawking. I want to adopt Billy, and Jason rolls his eyes. You work as a cop during the day, and then you spend six out of seven nights in spandex across rooftops. You do not have the free time necessary to raise a kid and keep your nighttime activities. I, on the other hand, have cleared out all gang presence in Crime Alley. Crime is at a record-breaking low in my territory and its surroundings. I have both the free time and the resources to raise a kid without endangering us both. Both Bruce and Dick are completely silent, stunned looks mirrored on each other's faces. Then Bruce quietly asked, You've been thinking about this, haven't you? And Jason nods. I met Billy about a month ago when he rescued me in Fawcett. I was chasing down some fuckhead when I tripped off a roof and fell into a dumpster. This kid found the red hood in a dumpster and went, I think he needs help, instead of calling the police or some shit. I was vulnerable and he chose to help and not harm. Bruce just nods and pulls off the cowl. Think we need to have a family meeting about this. Jay seems serious about this, and so does Dick. It's also not right for us to make a decision without consulting Billy, either. We'll have our own talk, work things out amongst ourselves, and then we'll let Billy know what's going on. Tim, Jason, and Dick all nod and agree. Billy, on the other hand, was having both the best and the worst day of his life. Instead of floating around the rock of eternity, he decides to just chill on the end of the hospital bed his body was currently sleeping in, which normally would have been fine. However, this wasn't a normal situation. No, instead he was in the Batcave and just witnessed Batman unmask himself, reveal his secret identity and discuss who was going to adopt him. Well, they all assumed he was asleep. His body was, however his spirit was wide-ass awake and hyperventilating. So, no big deal at all. Uh-uh, nope. He saw absolutely no reason why he should be afraid. That was a lie. Billy was in fact very, very afraid. Because Bruce Wayne is Batman, and Billy wasn't supposed to know. And when Batman finds out he knows, Billy is so, so dead. Best day ever. He knows who Batman is. Everybody in the League has been trying to figure that out, and he knows. Worst day ever. He found out who Batman is by accidentally spying on him in spirit form, and if Batman ever finds out, he is going to kill Billy. After that absolutely enlightening realization, Billy spends the next 30 minutes staring blankly at the wall, and trying to convince himself that time traveling was not worth it. That there are too many consequences. Don't be like the Flash, he thinks. We like the timeline in one piece, and my own selfishness is not worth rewriting the timeline. Let's channel our inner peace and keep our flash scourges deep in our brain next to the trauma box and leave it the fuck alone. Billy might not be one for swearing, but after the day he's had, he thinks he deserves a handful of fucks. Eventually, he sinks back into his body and lets himself fall into a deep sleep, a ghost pair of lips brushing his forehead, and he can feel Solomon rubbing his back like he does when Billy has a bad night.
For now, Gotham is quiet and peaceful, almost as if she is welcoming her newest child into her heart. The bats in the cave rustle around, and the sound of hundreds of velvety rings rustling becomes a sort of lullaby to her children. Gotham tucks them all up in quiet, warm darkness, and she soothes their souls of worry and hurt. For the champion of magic has returned once more to Gotham, and all will be truly well soon. Gotham has had to choose her own champion in order to keep the scales from tipping irreversibly far, but help has arrived, and soon she will be whole once more. But for now, she will sleep and protect this child. She will wrap him in her arms and keep him close. Billy is hers now, and Gotham protects her children. This was Chapter 8 of Here I Am, Batson and the Bat Sons, written by Small Spidey Boy, and recorded by Star1412. If you liked this, let me know in the comments, and let Small Spidey Boy know on the original work. Link is in the description. And if you have any other ideas for fix I could read, let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for listening!